Yesterday, a uh, fourth grader at the end of the day. No. Oh, yeah. Did he actually really wanted me to bump him up two levels on F and P? And I was like, all right, let's try it. And that motivated him enough to like stick with the reading and show me he could do it, and he could do it. So he grew, or I was able to, you know, label him that he could read at a higher level, which is I think what did I say? Together on Friday or on Thursday? Let's do that. That's a huge success. It's huge. It's huge. Okay. huge. And he was able to yeah. answer the comprehension questions. Any others? And he was very motivated because Are we good? he wanted to prove he could do it. And he could do it when he showed me and wanted to prove it himself. So that was really exciting. So I'm just updating it in my master data in this, if you guys see mine, it's, for right now, it's like in this kind of red column. So I'm hoping to get as many as I can updated in our conferences to help yeah. third and fourth grade as well as just updating my own students. Katie Years was writing groups. Sam was also master of data at a Years was Progress Conference and mine was um, not big shows at I just I did send my progress report, and I used the days off that we had last week to finish them. I do need to update the Google form or input like the person you contacted, the student, you know, marking like the X. Um, mine was nonfiction summaries, and like the biggest thing I've seen with the fourth grade writing and, like, is like basic conventions. But so it's just been just like a simple before they turn anything in. I like, no, nope, go look at the cops poster, check it, and like they just finish with just that first wave of like personal narratives again. And like the conventions is like my just by like intentionally saying, nope, go back and check that. I can already tell you don't have any periods anywhere, <laughs> but they know where to put them. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. So we just did the first round of nonfiction summaries, and then we're going to do them again on Monday, so see how it goes. They're doing a lot of writing. The EM students, like, were, when we did it together, they had really good ideas for like, social media. Gabby, uh -huh. I was impressed. And it's been cool to see how you're modifying assignments for kids at different levels mm -hmm. um, and trying to think about how you can help them be successful, whether it's dictating it or writing it or because they're not, a few of them really are not independent, but I can see it really trying to figure out how can we help them become independent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like the conference of doing the um, individual reading and writing classes yeah. with the form, which is really helping me train um, yeah. so that I can update master data. Um, so for like the kids that have a goal focus of writing, we can be really intentional about setting their own goals through the Google form that we set up. Um, and then they are more prepared when they come to me instead of just like, here, this is what I did. They can say like, this was my goal the reason that like this is what I specifically did to, to do that and then we can work together to figure out their next <laughs> steps to improve their writing. I like that you're using that form. Yeah, it's been really, it's holding me accountable to mm -hmm. checking in with everyone else, which I think is the biggest part. I feel like we always, all of us have such anecdotes in the place, but then there's just like obvious it's everywhere. It's just a way um, so, <coughs> with the writing focus, I decided that I would wait because I know that the both just got done with a big writing project and so I figured once all that is entered and the grades, I can really look at those that are minimal and those that are best and then from there. 
And so what I've been focusing on, is, uh, focusing on is um, I've been being kids and those kids that just have been stagnant. I am going back and I have been uh, giving the phonics screener and so I'm trying to figure out what's missing, what's in the I've pinpointed a couple of kids, and so that's now we're trying some new things. Yeah.